Linda Bermini, welcome to podcast Uncut. Uncut. It's a brand new segment that uh, we thought would be cool. Because so many people comment on the stuff that we put out. Mm-hmm. We thought it would be dope to comment on the comments. Yeah. Because sometimes what we say is... Oh, address the comments. <laughs> I feel like this is a blast lens session. Because the comments are a blast lens session. Then you, but do, it's you, okay. you blast back. Are they it's always okay. blasting you? 80% of yeah. the comments, yes. No, okay, well, now you have a chance to respond. Yeah. All right, nice. so we're going to start with episode... What was the last episode we did? Episode... You still keeping tabs. Hmm. 162, where we were talking about McG, World Politics, Mom Keys, I guess, the YouTuber. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see what the comments are saying. All right, really enjoyed this episode. So hilarious, but very informative. The story time was about Pearl Mudiadi. Mac G must just drop the story. I missed this corner. Earphones, I'm at work and listening to interviews. Thanks for the episode, but you guys forgot to tell us the grandeur story. Ah. Yeah. That one needs its own... Like a whole new podcast. <laughs> n- not even a whole new podcast. It's going to be a whole... Its own page. Its own episode. Uh, it can't be within everything else that we talk about. Okay. Because and when we tell the story, you'll understand. Okay, this is why we haven't told it. How do you summarize two years of blood, sweat, and tears, backstabbing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like the cold front we are in. Yo. <laughs> Into a mere hour. Mm. You 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 can't do that. You've gone uh, through cold if times. Anything, if anything, I think if that lived as its own series within the podcast because that story had so many twists and turns and it's like even Ghost Lady doesn't know the story I don't I'm waiting patiently yeah, all and, the chillers and, 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 and I feel like it'll be so dope if because there were so many so many so many parties that were involved in the beginning not even in the just through the process mm. kind of like you know when you shoot a documentary If anything, if we could, if we had the time, if we had the facilities and we could actually shoot it as a documentary more than it being a podcast episode. The making of grandeur. Yes, because I've noticed that the minute you tell a story in a documentary format, people become so invested in it more than, uh, yeah, okay, cool, whatever, you know? So like maybe four episodes of 30 minutes each Mm. would, and again, I don't even think that's enough. Yeah. Uh, I like this show as it is. It is created for us, all 36,000 subscribers. I'm scared if you change it, you will lose the true fans of the show. Just create a story time on Wednesday with the ghost lady. Yes, I told you. That is Terry. Uh, Gatleko says, please tell us why Fresh hates the podcast. Whew, that's another uh, documentary. Uh, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need Netflix to sponsor us. <laughs> What's I, I, I cut it short. <laughs> Let me uh, tell. Let me tell the story. Okay, okay cool. All right, cool. Let me give you context. Mm. So I grew up idolizing Fresh. Yeah. Like Fresh is my idol, uh, with what he's done in radio and everything else. You know, there's a guy I look up to. I mean, I remember the first time when I interviewed him, I was at Crazy, and we went to the YFM uh, studios to interview him. He was doing breakfast at the time. I was fucking shaking, dude, because this is like fuck. This is Fresh, and I'm interviewing him. You know. And then after that, because um, when I was at Y, he had left. So I only ran into him at, like, at clubs and stuff like that. And every time I ran into him, I remember we ran into him at VS Gaming. Yes. It was always love. Mm. You know? I'd be like, yo, my hero, my idol. Mm. What's happening, Fresh? What's good? You know? And the, the love was the same. Yeah. And then uh, one day, me and my woman, we went to Umpo Pop's comedy show. Yeah. So... We there, and I called them pop-ups because it was after the time I had done the interview. You, you with just him. skipped a, a big part. Yes, yeah. yes. A part it, did, it didn't just one yes. day. Didn't we one happened day. <laughs> like you were skipping like r- the fields, roses. <laughs> then you just ended in pop-ups. <laughs> Hell no. And, 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 and a lot of people don't understand why story time will never work yeah. with him telling a story and I'm there. Yeah, because you know there are parts that are going to be skipped, exactly. and then I'm going to raise my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Right S- before that, what happened? There is. An episode. An episode of the podcast mm-hmm. yeah. that we did. I just can't remember. One of the greatest. The Chilean one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's the thing. The reason why I'm skipping to comedy, the Mpo Pops comedy mm. day, is because I had no idea he was pissed off about that interview. 
It was only after Umpo Pops that I realized that, oh, shit, the guy felt But whoever told way. you that it was because of that? Whoever told you? So that's where I'm getting to. So Umpo Pops, we get there. So I called Umpo Pops to give me tickets. Mm. And it so happens that me and Fresh were sitting next to each other. Mm-hmm. He came with his wife. I was with my, with my woman. Mm-hmm. So before we sat, I saw him. And bear in mind, like, since the podcast had started, I've been wanting to get Fresh on. Mm. And he, ca- he tells me the same story. He's like, yo, talk to management, send an email, ba 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 bam. So I do all of that. Boom, 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 send email. Nothing happens. And I remember when he got fired from Metro, he was doing, like, a tour mm. on every fucking show. Mm. Except this one. <laughs> Size you know, matters. <laughs> you know, I was hoping you'd come on because I would love to ever sit down with Fresh, you know? Because, yeah. like I say, he's my idol. Yeah. So there, uh, I see him. I was a bit tipsy. Uh, I see him, and he was acting funny. He was acting weird. It wasn't the same love that I was expecting to get from Fresh, like when I see him at a gig or whatever. Uh-huh. And my woman is like, yo, did you notice Fresh was acting weird? I'm like, nah, man. It's probably because like you had a long day at work or... It's cold. You know, mm. and, or you was just frustrated because of tickets or whatever the case may yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we sat, we sat, I sat next to him and the whole time we never spoke mm. at all. It was like, he was like cold. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, right, fuck it. I'm here for the comedy show. I isn't getting mm. sharp. So Were now, you able to still laugh during the show? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he laugh? <laughs> well, I don't know. I wasn't sitting next to him. Oh, okay. My girlfriend made sure she sat right between in me and Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was me, my girl, Fresh, his wife. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So after the, 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 the comedy thing, I call Bobster. Now, Bobster is Oskido's brother. So mm. him and Fresh are like close. Yeah. So I call Bobster. I'm like, hey, dude, I got a weird vibe from Fresh today. I don't know, what do you think I did wrong? Because if anyone knows, Bobster would know. Mm. And he's like, ah, my man, it's the Chile M interview. You were laughing too much. <laughs> okay, I'm so like, Bobster gave you some insight. That interview, like I didn't say anything. I was just laughing, you know what I mean? And he's like, yeah, hey, you were laughing too much, blah, 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 blah. Mm. So after that, I, I sent an SMS to Fresh. I sent an SMS, I'm like, yo, big dog, listen, man, if I did anything to offend you, uh, please let me know because, you know, my intentions are not to offend mm. you. So if you feel like... You let's know, address it. Let's, let's talk, address it. You know, you know, I dropped him an SMS. Yeah. Didn't respond. Till this day. Till this day. So after that, I was like, ah, fuck it. But yeah, it, it looks like he was pissed uh, uh, because of the Chilliam interview and how I conducted it when Chilliam was speaking about him. Because he went on another podcast. Uh, this white guy, what's his name? He's on Five. Oh, yeah. Five yeah. of him. And he did rant about... Yo, it wasn't a rant, but yeah. he spoke about how my podcast is uh, reckless mm. and the the fact that he's not a fan, mm. you know. And I think I found that weird because, like, he's got my number. Why didn't mm. he call me? Or oh, better, better even, dude, why don't you come on the show mm. and tell me how fucked up the show is? Because mm. he's a big dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can do that. We are youngings. We're coming mm. up in this game. And he's a big dog. If mm. he feels like I, I can do better in one, two, three, as a big dog, I think, you know, you can Correct. call mm. or just advise and say, mm. hey, listen, why don't you try one, two, three, one, two, three? Mm. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Ah, so then that's what happened. And I was like, ah, fuck it, man. Glides up. Look, devil's advocate. Uh, there was also a situation. And you know what's funny? He goes on the podcast to bitch about me. And he's bitching about the same thing that Chilean came on my podcast to bitch about him. Oh. So he did the same thing Chili did. <laughs> he went on a podcast to bitch about me. <laughs> Actually. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But maybe it was, uh, f- from what I heard uh, on that particular podcast, was that it was, as a, as, a, as, a, as a person in this game, you need not be reckless about whoever it is that's in this game because you don't know where you're going to meet them and how far much they can sort of like help you in your journey mm-hmm. type of thing and perhaps that might have Fresh has never helped me in my journey he's done shit for me bro you idolized him so by virtue of him doing what he's doing and you idolizing him that was help that was not necessarily direct but it was indirect kind of thing oh I actually used to go to his 5FM show to oh. study how he does a radio show oh, okay yeah. so it didn't help okay okay <laughs> <laughs> Because with everything, no, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just of the, he shouldn't seem like 
he was at all at fault kind of thing. But in as much as, yes, you admit that you participated in the, what do you call it? The miss... Was it even a miscommunication? And that's why I appreciate Ricky Rick mm. for picking up the phone and clearing things Th- out. Out, yeah. Because we chopped it up and after yeah. that it was like, oh, dude, I didn't know you felt that way. He's yes. like, yeah, I didn't know you felt that way. And then it was clean. Yeah. And that's what I expected from like an idol, you know, mm. like like a fresh, you know mm. what I mean? It's the same thing that, that, that Shimza spoke about. I was actually about to make the Shimza, Shimza Black Coffee yeah. uh, thing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. You know? yeah. Black Coffee felt some type of way about Shimza. Shimza reached out mm-hmm. to like, hey, Khrutman, Tell me, yeah, what's, what's up? What's what did I do? On, you know, and Black Coffee gave him the finger. Mm. Well, now they gave me a blue tick. <laughs> <laughs> this your message was red. <laughs> You're you not know? blocked. So, so it's like, what do I do? Mm. Mm. You move on. You, I think uh, it's also becoming <laughs> the bigger person in that. <laughs> is it? Yes, we're talking about it now, but obviously because people want to know about it. But it's also a case of. Moving on, I've also participated in what seems like we have an agenda against Fresh. I don't have an agenda against Fresh. Not at all. I will all. be the first. I, I, I will pun against, or if, if even his name comes across and I'm not on this podcast. Listen to like he's making it about himself now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying we, we don't have an agenda against Fresh. And because of the rants that we have about... Basically, what he's saying is that Fresh, now I'm not like... <laughs> Me learn. <laughs> you can come talk can to me. Our, 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 our. <laughs> and and that's not that. Like we, you remember you said the other time on the show that we had that we've we've we might have pissed off so many people that we are gonna be the next on the fall list. So I'm just saying that in what we say, it's and you 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 announced to it so nicely in that it is not done out of malice. Mm. Even the laughing that you did. I mean, I was thinking this past weekend that the irony about it is part and parcel of why you left YFM was because you laughed. Mm. Laughed at who? At the issue. At oh, the bougie thing. Yes. Hey, this, <laughs> laugh, this laugh gets me into shit. Eh? Mm. You know? <laughs> and it's, that's you. So what's the moral of the story? I mustn't laugh. <laughs> Pick when to laugh. <laughs> Basically, edit yourself, mm. but I don't fucking care to be honest. Fresh does nothing in my life, like, yeah. it doesn't change or do anything. I don't fucking care, yeah. And I've done all that I can to reach out to him. If he feels some type of way, I yeah. keep it moving, man. There's nothing else I can do, yeah, you know. And that's that. All right, next one. Lane was dropping a lot of knowledge. The great, like, Ika is back. Damn, I missed the sound effect that goes drop that fucking thing of yours. Here's another one. one. Hey, drop no that fresh like thing of yours. <laughs> Oh, now you care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, episode was dope. I missed you guys. Len has cock knowledge. Yo, yo, I nearly <laughs> defended my banner. Brand yo, Len killed me there. Uh, Mac G, go back up your videos. I have, I have. Oh, I have. have you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Len, did you download? I did. Oh. <laughs> A whole week. <laughs> uh, f- feature other YouTubers on story times. Nev- never have I ever muk bangs and song associations and we'll see 40k. Interview YouTubers even. That's the thing. That, do you know there's like a... A whole YouTube world. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a high school world. Yeah. Like the cool kids chill with the cool kids. Kids, yeah. Says a lot <laughs> about... Other kids <laughs> who are not kids. It's like a whole YouTube thing that I don't know. Yeah. Because yeah. we just do a podcast, it just happens to be on YouTube. Yeah, there are trending things on YouTube. Like you see, like now that whole eating thing. Like, But imagine if you guys had to sit here, this, what is it, mukbang, mukbang that they do. It's basically you order food and here you are telling a story or um, talking about whatever and you are eating. So yes, it might work for others, but maybe here in this platform, I don't know. What's or, good for the Goose is not good for the gander type thing. Yeah, so I don't know. Unless you guys are up for it. Do you want to be eating here? Ah, chief. Oh, you can mukbang SAPS. <laughs> What's mukbang? <laughs> when you eat. It's basically you sitting there on, on like on video eating. And people watch you eat. Oh, is it is it big with YouTubers? Yes, it's big. So mm. it's at the, a lot of the... Um, so it's a story time. Yeah, it's a story bang. time while you it's eat. Like, I feel, I feel or it's like, makeup. I know, like a I lot of. Like, yes, like you're saying, it's it's for us to be big. Do we have to do makeup? 
Next thing I'm face beating. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's the thing. Are you going to end up doing whatever other people are doing? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I see you do. I like uh, uh, What's imagine. better? Is it Mac or is it Bobby Brown? Like, no, like yeah. no. It's like. not... <laughs> It's it's and it's, it's not what we do. Yeah. Uh, if like if like you guys is is keen on it, you'll try. Means. Yeah, I'll guide you through the process, Lynn. It's okay. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you use that. You know, let's use this for his shade. Japan also has the best beef in the world, wagui. Wagui, yes. Mm. Beef from Japan slaps. Very um, expensive. Guys, your audio is ass. Hey, sh- I apologize about the audio, man. What happened? Was it the first one you uploaded? Because yeah, I know no, no. you uploaded, then you deleted. It was lagging behind. Ah. Yeah, I didn't sync it properly. It was a synchronization yeah. thing. Okay. But that was the first time this year. Come on, guys. Ah, give us oh. some slack, bro. In fact, hey, it's a whole new... If you're going to put the bar here, make sure you... You stay keep... there. Yeah, guys, Tabang is back. It's the first time I'm abandoned in a while. But Tabang is here today, yeah, so, Tabang's you know. Back. Yeah, yeah. It's I love this episode. Len is always serving us information, and we are here for it. Can't wait for the next episode. Len, where's the, the, the backlash you're talking about? It's all love here, bro. Yeah. Love. I ah, know. No. no. Love. <laughs> Go back to other ones. Love. <laughs> I totally agree with story time and Maggie. Doesn't matter if we know who it is. I knew it was you on the story time of another channel. My thing with story times, my story times are the same. Met a girl we smashed in yeah. <laughs> the end. All two minutes. <laughs> There was a no, but there's, and a finish. <laughs> but there's drama in between. <laughs> there's drama in between. <laughs> it's just different names, but it's the same shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Are we going to tell a story time, guys? I don't have stories. I think I live the most boring let's story, life Let's ever. tell a story time. One each. One each. One each. I've done mine with Fresh. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that was your story <laughs> time. Story oh, wow. <laughs> Go, Slade, give us a story yeah, time. Yeah. Give us better, a story better time. Her. So tell us about the guy who went to jail. <laughs> you took it there. Yeah. What are we going to call him? Jail time. No. Uh, okay. Let's call him jail time. No, let me, let me, let me build up the story. Ne? Okay. All right. Okay. In my good old days, once upon a time, there was a young, a young in ghost lady. And then I was dating this guy. He was a basketball player because I like them told back in his yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know ghost lady. yeah this guy was he was a he was a big dog <laughs> basically I'm sure he's grown up to be a big dog now yeah. <laughs> you know and then when in our dating day so he was a rich boy stayed in four ways right because I was still in Joburg that time I was tertiary basically and then this guy well. His father was an exec in the banking industry. Ne? This guy's a... Well, let's call him Jordan. This guy. Ne? Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan. So Jordan now... The father had a, a young wife. A new wife. The mother had passed on. So Jordan had a stepmom. You know, younger lady came in and... So they didn't really connect. But anyway... And then he had a cousin who was in... Let's say he was in Soviet... Ne? Cousin, they're still in the, the, the like the mother's side, poor family. Ne? And this guy, so the cousin used to he used to like assist the cousin, you mm, know, like mm. with the financially and everything. Like, and the parents did not know, or well, the father, okay. you know. So this was happening behind his back. Mm. And then one day, the cousin came to the house with guys. This is a like the gated estates in. Or gated communities in four ways, you know, the rich burbs there. Guy comes with cousin, whoever, to rob the house, ties up Jordan and the mother and the little eh, kids, what? Yeah, the step brothers. Yeah. Two boys. Okay. Whole drama. And then when they get caught, the cousin, he says, Jordan was part of it. Jordan said, let's do this. Mm. So Jordan gets now arrested. Then Jordan. So that's how I met the father. <laughs> mm. When I found, when I found out that Jordan is in prison. I traveled with the father to Sunset. 
to go see uh, Jordan because I knew so like so much of the story. Remember, I'm the girlfriend. He confides in me. Yeah. I know a lot of. So the father now has to ask. I have to now report to the family. Like this is what I know. The cousin story because all of this was happening. I knew. So we had to now be part of this whole case. He would pick me up. You know, we go there to Sun City, go see Jordan, the shebang. And then there was this funny story when what had happened was Jordan had gotten me into this thing of gambling. So we used to go to <laughs> used to mo- gamble go to casino to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what Jordan was doing, he would go and pawn things. Ne? <laughs> <laughs> In this pawning, right? He took he pawned my Mac laptop. This is so, Jordan. This is Jordan, ne? And obviously, he promised like, okay, no, we get we pawn your laptop. We we'll get two thousand. You know, like I think after a month, you take it. But when you get, you get like you have to give them two point five, and then you get it back. Something like that. I can't even remember. Okay, so now when he gets arrested, my laptop <laughs> is there at the pawn shop. <laughs> so I had to tell the story to the the father now, like um. Papa Jordan, mm. there's an issue. And I told Jordan, I'm like, tell your dad mm. what I like my laptop, mm. you know. So he told, and so, okay, fine. Um, Jordan's father now, I have to, t- he takes me to the pawn shop. Yeah. So obviously in that, it is the pretense of that I don't know. This is Jordan's acting. Like, I don't know nothing. This is just information that, okay. Because now he's going to go get the laptop for me. So when we get there, at the pawn shop, the guy uh, is like, yeah, they were here. So that's when he turned around and he's like, ah, can't you all part of this? <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> now that's when I knew, like, yo, my life changed. But anyway, he came out and obviously because of the whole story of, so basically the the cousin at the end of the day was just... So Jordan out. wasn't part of the robbery? No, he wasn't. Mm. It's just the cousin, you know, just knowing. Because it's like, you know when you help people and they want more and more. And mm. they're like, come on, you're rich. You've got everything. Mm. Like, it became that obsession. That's crazy. Yeah. So that was my story of one of the bad, bad. And when I think about it, I go, I still cringe. Like, yo, that was the most scariest time of my life. Like, How is the Sun City Jail? I've never been there. Yeah, like it was a, a big procedure because you get inside, obviously you get checked. Then there's a bus that you have to, because obviously it's not like you just enter. So the jail one. is in Sun City? Yeah, it's in, not. Okay, no, so man, the in Sun Naturena, City, right? the one by Naturena. It's, uh, oh, yes. Naturena, it's man. just called Sun City. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're no, there by you the spoke. valley of the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the coast. Yeah. Coast. There's a jail there. <laughs> Like just after the waves, you jump, just swim, swim in, inside there, no, where the waves come out. It's not Robin Island, yeah, where inside. you go through the valley of the waves to get... No, 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 it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... The one there by, on your way to thinking... By it, Chiefs there. Yes, yeah. yes, before, yeah. So there's a after whole procedure. Southgate. You come in there first, and then, well, this is... If I think this is what, like, 10 years ago. Well, yeah, yeah, 10 years back. I think when you interview Joop Joop, he'll probably give you navigation. Yeah, navigation. Inside. But you get into a, a bus inside to get into the prison. So it's like mm. there's a whole transport system. And to you guys still in. dated after that? Yeah, a little bit. But I think it was, uh, I, I couldn't face the family. As much as it's like they were forgiving, but it was like I just came with bad memories. So You I were gambling, Gosley. Ah, uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Blackjack. <laughs> get into things that are just so stupid and you're like what was I thinking you know there was no need for it but you know you know the things we do for love and you haven't spoken to Jordan since no no and the thing is Jordan at some point wanted me back but I was like no and I hurt his feelings also yeah I cheated on him after so hey. it got bad it got messy mm. yeah why didn't you tell me you were just pawning your love <laughs> <laughs> I'll forg- be back. But that's the thing, he forgave me. Like, yeah. And I was like, no, yeah. it's bad, you know. I was already with her now. I was like, mm-mm. Like, Giga, it's time for your story time. I don't have stories. You do. Top this, top this one. Top okay, it. tell us the one where you had your main girl and your ex in the same room. What happened? Ah, oh, tell oh, us! Tell, tell us! us. <laughs> I will take that story tell to us. Nah, 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 tell us. Nah, 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 I need to hear that story. It's like MacGyver's. No, 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 no. Don't get me involved. It's your story. It's your story. No, no. It's it's it's. Look, is it my story? Yes, it's my story. But it's it's not exciting. It is to us. So tell us. 
will be the judge. Tell us. Mm. Okay, MacGyver, his two cousins decided it was my birthday. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, yo, we're going to go bride at his place. It just Before so, Corona. So like five or four <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Look at you storing up beef now. You want to... <laughs> and it just so happened that one of his cousins... BC. Was eyeing or was having a thing with my ex-girlfriend at the time. Cool. So they come to my house, we bribe, we bribe, we bribe. And then one of my neighbors, who was friends with his one cousin, decided... Let's give them names. Let's give my cousins names. Mm. Uh, both of them. Uh, Makadzi. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're trying to bring it close to home. Yeah. And King Munad, yeah. And King Munad. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay cool. <laughs> <laughs> so... So who's the one who wants your, your ex? Is it Makadzi or it's King Munad? King Munad, all right. So mm. Monada calls Makadzi on some, yo, I'm going to Len's house. Mm. It's a bride. Because mm. Makadzi has stories and underlying issues, decides, okay, cool, I'm going to come through. Mm. But I'm already with my girlfriend, and my girlfriend, like the whole weekend, it was like a us thing mm-hmm. type of thing. Even with them coming, I sort of like... Yeah, I accepted, but not wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. Cool. Should have actually trusted my instinct at the time. Cool. He comes with Monada and uh, our his other cousin, Mulalo. Mm-hmm. Right? Cool. They get there. Chill, we bribe, we bribe, we bribe, we bribe. We bribe, we bribe, we bribe, we bribe. And then Monada and Makazi's friend, who is my neighbor, Ne? Also comes down it's like, hey, happy birthday, you guys are having bribe, blah, 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 cool, mm-hmm. cool, cool. And then Makadzi gets to the gate. The gate calls the friend because you can only go in because you're saying, I'm going to numbers 165. They call 60, 165, 165 opens for you. Cool. Call the neighbor. Neighbor opens. I go outside. I can't remember who called me to say, yo. Nothing is gonna some shit is gonna some shit is gonna pop here. <laughs> so I go outside and I see Makadzi and I'm like, oh shit. But I'm like, ah, you know what? Who's Makadzi the ex? Yes. Okay, yeah. Makadzi is the ex. Okay. I'm like, you know what? Now for the sake of peace, as far as I remember, they don't know each other. Mm. So So you will allow this to happen. Let this let this uh whatever it is happen. And then people will go home. It didn't go home because Makati then came into the house and then felt and pretended like, oh, yeah, I've been here before. I know where the teaspoons are type of thing. Ew. And sort of like enforced her presence mm. on on your lady, on my lady. Mm. And then Monada <laughs> with the friend then go sit my lady down and say, do you actually know who's that lady? Ish. He's like, no, I don't know her. They're like, ah, Kimakadzi, she used to be <laughs> rocking here. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> and then that's when shit hit the fan. Because hmm. obviously my lady felt disrespected, yeah. which it was a disrespect. And the long and short of it, like, the fire that was burning of a bri ended very quickly. Hmm. And people were told to go home. And then Makati was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? You didn't, you're not paying the bond here. Yeah, Yo. One. And. Yeah. And I left. I left. <laughs> I saw the movie before it happened. I, I'm not <laughs> sticking around. Train. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, not, not going to stay for this. this. I'm like, I'm out. Yeah, he took his food and left. <laughs> <laughs> How did you allow Makati to come in the house, yeah. dog? Because. I don't know. Um, I was at that point when she was already inside the. Property. Were you not wasted like that? No, uh, you it was not yet. Okay. Um, when she was already inside the property, my 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 reading of it at the time was. And by the way, he makes it sound like it was cordial when everybody left. No, <laughs> it was Pitori meets Easter End. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm a piano. <laughs> Who started? I'm a piano. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was. I I I I misread it as 
what's the worst that can happen? Mm. And yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you're stupid or you're brave, but I. Yeah. Was, I don't uh, think. I don't think. Look, looking back at it, it looks like stupidity. But at the time, there was a whole failed algorithm that went into it. <laughs> on some, okay, cool. This person is literally coming and leaving, because I thought I had assurance. And I had assistance from other people. Okay, that you that, control the situation. That we 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 we're gonna have this <laughs> yeah. on lockdown. Yeah, the King I Munada I left, <laughs> <laughs> and King Munada <laughs> went and dropped a singing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's you learn about these things, and you didn't do proper like uh, put restrictions. There was there was no launch. There was no level five restriction. Mm. No, it was. You didn't have it on lockdown, basically. Yeah. That's it. And I only noticed that once the cat had been thrown amongst the pigeons. Knowing okay. what you know now, what would you have changed about Was that beat down, by the way? Yes. Okay. Crazy. So who won? Pitori, ne? Bey, angaz. Nobody won. It was, just an, it was just a whole embarrassing moment. Uh, mm. I, I'm not going to sit here and glorify it. Yeah, you should have thought about that before you let it in, nigga. But I didn't think <laughs> this guy was gonna get there. But anyway, now um, your woman took a hit for you. <laughs> no, she gave one. Hey, uh, yo. <laughs> Play that. Uh, knowing what I know now mm-hmm. was like literally knowing what I knew when I investigated how the whole thing came about, because. For the exception of Monada, I didn't know... Or exception of Monada, him and his other cousin, I mm. didn't expect anybody else to come through. Mm. Mm. It was just an us thing. We were going to watch soccer, happy birthday, have a drink, and then everybody was going to go home. Mm. But... It cool. is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, and that's a wrap of our segment, Podcast Uncut. So we're going to be doing this after every episode, ne? Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. We'll read your comments and... Uh, Reply to them. Yeah. So this was a segment with a story. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. we were experimenting story time. Oh, okay. Yeah. But okay. it's... I don't, I don't think it works for us. Nah. nah. <laughs> no. That's why I went bad like it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will let us know if you enjoyed story time. But for us, it doesn't work. It's weird. Because like for 10 minutes, we're looking at ghostly. Yeah. <laughs> I even had to put the mic down, right? <laughs> Primarily because it's cold and I don't have like a thing thing. Yeah. But also, I can't be sitting here and I'm also taking the mic away because I don't want to infringe in your story. Yeah. yeah. And you know? imagine how it looks. So the chillers are just watching two people watching. Yeah. You. And they're like, wow. So that's what story time is basically. Now look I think like. people will even be like, we want to see Kosli. You want to see this wretched bitch. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, don't forget, make sure you contribute. We're raising funds for uh, hashtag Amanda Westpani, hashtag 100K. We're going to get there. You think we're going to get there like a we should get there. Yeah, we were raising funds for uh, Y cities, Y centers, love life Y centers, mm. and Y led. Y led. Yes, yes. So yeah, make sure you contribute. This has been podcast in Chiwi area. Boom. Boom. Thank you.